Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another video. Today we're going to be doing a review on the green light acrylic display case. Uh, I got a bunch of these. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. If you only have uh, a small amount of a certain casting that you want to display all together, uh, this is a good option. Although if you're looking to store maybe like a hundred different vehicles uh, all in one big block of uh, one giant case this might not be the best route to go they're a little more expensive than buying let's say a carny plastics case that holds like a hundred cars it would be cheaper to go that route maybe like a carny plastic carny plastics display case uh, that holds like a hundred or or more if you want to display a lot all together uh, these cases only hold uh, six cars, uh, but they do interlock together, so you can kind of expand as you go. So if you just wanted to start out small, uh, so we'll take a close look at this, and I'll give you my pros and cons and, and what I think of this. Let's take it out of the box here. First, I'll show the packaging, so you maybe know what to look for on the internet or at your local uh, store that sells green light stuff. If you have a car... Uh, a retailer that sells green light cars, chances are they might have these as well. Um, I found uh, found these at my local diecast shop, SC Diecast, uh, and I really liked them, so I ended up buying a bunch. And uh, he ordered like a whole case of these for me, and gave me a good deal. So shout out to SC Diecast, thanks for the deal, bud. Uh, we'll give a, give you a shot of the packaging and. Let you take a look at it and you can read it. <clears throat> I think they're really cool. I like how they lock together. Um, there's some other some things I don't like about them, but I'm sure you can get them also probably from their website. There's the uh, here's the web address, and here is the barcode. If that helps you any. Let's crack into this case and take a look at it. Get it open. Okay. There we go. All right. It comes kind of. A, it's got like this uh, plastic packaging around it to help protect it. So the acrylic case doesn't get cracked or broken or damaged. Although I did get uh, one or two that had, I think I only got one that had a crack in it. Um, but for the most part, I think they do work pretty well, this uh, packaging. So underneath this little backing, you remove this backing and that's where you'll find the mounting hardware. Which is just a bag with two screws in it and... Um, I'm not sure what these are called, like a drywall ink or something like that. I'm not really sure what those are called. So, I'll get rid of the packaging. Here's the case itself. Just a clear acrylic case. Uh, Carney Plastics, I'm a fan of them, obviously. Um, they also sell ones that have mirrored backs. This one, these do not have mirrored backs. Although you could probably add a mirrored uh, back to it if you had some sort of uh, mirrored paper that you could put behind the case So here's the case it holds six cars. It has a flip-up door if you look real closely at the bottom here There's a little a little bit of a nub or bump To help you kind of grab a hold of the bottom and these it just lifts open uh, to uh, So you can get access to the cars and these uh, do interlock so you can add three or four of these cases together and the doors do still open their design you can still get in into these cases even though the cases are uh, connected together looks like this one might have a few scratches I don't know how well you can see that on the camera probably not very well um, 
but it's really minor. You're not really going to notice that, especially if there's cars in it. People are going to be focused on the cars and not like the super slight imperfections of the case. Uh, another cool part about it is, uh, you know, the front door opens. Uh, you can also lift this door off. So if you wanted to display them open, I think if you, uh, it just snaps off and comes out. So here's the door, the cover, and if you wanted to just display it open without any cover on, you could do that too. Um, I have a second case here that's already out of the box, and I'll show you. I could show you, try to show you how they interlock together. Um, they slide from the back, and you just kind of set them together like this on top of each other. And there's like little grooves on top, and they just slide together and lock in. Now, I don't think you'll be able to put this... Uh, cover on um, once they're all together and locked into place so if you want the lid on you're going to want to keep it um, keep them on or take them off before you put them together you might um, you might not have to really completely dis disconnect them or take them apart you should be able to just slide it back and then put the Put the case in, Let's see if I can do this, and just snaps in, and then boom, it closes. And you can then you can slide it forward again. And see, with these, they do uh, they do uh, come together quite nicely and very flush. Um, but you still have this little bump that you can kind of get your fingernail under um, and open. <clears throat> I have a couple cars here in a, a jammer case so we'll take these out of the jammer case and add them to <clears throat> uh, the display case just to give you an idea of what they look like with cars in them just give me one second to get these out I probably should have done this in advance I've already done a video on these cars. Uh, we're going to be displaying the uh, quick delivery uh, by Hot Wheels. So we'll just start out here. Let's see if I can slide it back a little bit. So you can see. So I'll just lift the, the case cover here. Hold it open. And just add the cars. Uh, another thing I really like about these is they are uh, they're designed for green light vehicles. Uh, and green light has some pretty big vehicles. Like I have uh, obviously I have a bunch of green light vans, which will be coming up real soon in a, a green light spotlight. Uh, and the vans are pretty big. They won't fit in the average uh, jammer case. So, uh, but they will fit in these. These are designed for any green light vehicle. And green light makes a lot of larger vehicles like Cadillacs and stuff. So this is kind of a shorter casting. Um, I do have a larger green light van here I could put in to show you. I'll try to demonstrate like a larger vehicle. Wish I had like a huge... Uh, like a Cadillac or something, just to give you an idea. You can see how much room uh, there is in the case yet with this green light van, which are, are pretty huge. They won't fit in the average jammer case. You can see it's got quite a bit of play from side to side yet. There's still quite a bit of room there. Now for the pros and cons. Um... I really like them. I like they're fairly cheap. So if you have like let's say six cars, 
uh, six cars of a certain casting or just six cars that you really are your favorite cars that you want to feature together. Um, it's fairly cheap. I think you can get these cases for about 12 bucks or so, depending on where you buy them. Um, I got a better deal from SC Diecast than that, but, uh, cause I bought in bulk, I bought a whole case at a time, but, um, I probably have almost two cases of these. That's how many I bought. Um, it would still be more economical to go with like a carny case if you're going to be displaying about 100 cars or more altogether. It might be better, it's probably cheaper to get a carny case or some other acrylic case if you're buying a giant case altogether that has over 100 little slots versus buying multiple cases of these. Um, so price point, they're not too bad, but they are a little bit more expensive than a carny case if you're planning on storing lots of vehicles and buying a bunch and, and putting them all together. I don't like the mounting hardware. Uh, this mounting hardware, um, these little uh, drywall anchors, they don't have any, uh, here I'll take one out of the package, they don't have any uh, ledge on the end here. So in my uh, my example or my uh, experience they uh, would slide into the wall like i would i put them into the wall my friend uh from my local club josh champo uh shout out to you buddy uh he helped me hang these and when you put them in the wall um there's no like lip or edge so they just push in and then they could just push, keep pushing right into the wall uh, and like fall through. Uh, there's ridges on them. And I think they expand when you put the screw in um, to help hold them snugly. But there's not any uh, like um, ribs on it, uh, vertical ribs that would kind of keep it from sliding in and out like this. So technically, you could put the screws through the case. Uh, it has little, like, kind of keyholes where the, the bolts go through. And if you were to pull on it, once it was mounted to the wall, these could just pull right out of the wall. So I don't like these this mounting hardware that it comes with. The mounting hardware that came with the case, I really don't like. And I ended up going to the hardware store and buying some different drywall anchors uh, to use to mount them. So that's a, 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 a con. Uh, these are the bolts that came with it. And I'll try to demonstrate uh, how they are mounted or where the, where the holes are. The case has a little kind of like a keyhole in the back. Uh, right here, each case has uh, two, one on each side, and it has a bigger hole. Let's see if I can move it at a different angle so it's easier to see. It has a bigger hole where the where the bolt slides through, and then it fits up here, and then it can kind of hang, and the bolt can't come out. So you basically have to screw them in a little bit, like maybe halfway into the wall, so that you can, so they'll slide through the hole here, like so, and then, and then when you, they fall down in, and then you would tighten them up against the wall. So I'm not real crazy about the original hardware that came with the cases, and I did not use the stock hardware. Um, but other than that, uh, other than the price point, and the, um, and the stock hardware, I don't really have too much bad to say about them. I think they're a pretty cool case, especially if you're only looking to, to uh, store a few or you just don't have the money to buy a big carny case that holds like 100 cars and you just kind of have to go uh, a little by little. Uh, I don't know how long these will be available, you know, if they're going to be available from Greenlight for years to come where you could just buy you know, one every couple months or one a month and just keep expanding until you have enough display storage uh, to cover what you're doing. Um, 
so that's it uh they seem pretty durable uh they're well packed so generally they don't get too scratched up or broken i only i i haven't opened them all yet but i got two cases and so far i only found one that was cracked and green light probably if you called the customer service line for green light they probably would uh you know warranty them somehow if you got them uh you could maybe take them back to your retailer or just call green light directly and they might send you a replacement in the mail but i'm not sure you have to check with uh, green light customer service but overall i really like these uh, i think they're cool and they're fairly cheap if you're just looking to store a few cars and they're expand expandable and uh you can store them with the doors on or off pretty cool case so that's my review guys of the green light acrylic display case uh, that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and also check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys have a great day.